कुछ इज योर मेडिक स्किल रियली ओके हाँ आर यू क्वेश्चनिंग माई स्किल आई वॉज ऑलवेज फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द बेस्ट स्टूडेंट इन फर्स्ट एड क्लास द पेन इज गॉन Not bad. Hey, I'm not done with your ceiling. Hey, ah, hey. oh, uh, I already apologize. Hey, slick. Hmm, I didn't expect to see this. What a spacious yard for a house located right next to the train station. <laughs> Old buddy, I'm surprised that you're still here. We have settled everyone so far. I didn't expect so many Manus members here. I've never encountered them before. They can't be communicated with. How horrible. And since we meet them here, it means <sighs> Kumar did cooperate with the Manus. Shoot. It's completely out of control. The incantation in the cave. She must be able to detect the fluctuation caused by it and that gives away. But what in the world is her purpose? Did she think I would stop her? So she deployed these things to slaughter the village. Does revenge matter that much to her? Trusted her. I never believed she would do such a thing, even if we're no longer on the same path. But the reality tells me, my trust in her is nothing but a joke. Hatred changes people. It's not a choice, Kalabona. You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. You trust someone because they are trustworthy, but you never need a reason to hate. Let your guard down for even one second. The toxic idea will sneak into your mind, and it would be impossible to get rid of it. It will burn your mind and sanity until you become an animal living for revenge, even forget your own name Oh, don't look at me like that. It's nothing personal. In my mind, she is still my cool and scholarly sister. I was young and easily fooled back then. What I said was based on my real life experience. I was way more outrageous than her. <laughs> uh, I mean, We were all young once, right? <sighs> no matter what, she's already on the move. But we don't even know where she is. about it the painkiller won't last long there's no way you can drive with a wounded foot but shadja is still out there she can't use any arcane skills if she's fine by the mask monster
Even, even if you are right on this, I can't just let you... Hmm? SPF-1 portable contact device activated. Abnormal arcane skill fluctuation detected. Conducting analysis. It just activates itself? Huh? Source of abnormal arcane skill fluctuation confirmed. Similar faction, Manus Findicte. Margin of error, 0.121%. Emergency support application sent. Adjusted support application priority to high. Does it mean we can ask the Foundation for backup now? <laughs> this is great! People, I finally got in touch with the Foundation! Yeah? That's good news. But the Manus is still wandering out there. Before the Foundation evacuates them, the village will be destroyed. We can't just sit around and watch. There is another way. If she can do it, I can do it too. Maybe I can find traces of her if I enter the realm. Because I also mastered meditation skills. Yes, that's right. I know the path inside. What do I need? Yes, water. Enough water to soak me in. Miss Calabona? Uh, now hold on. Please wait. If it was so easy, why didn't you look for her in the realm in the first place? I... It is a risky move, am I right? How did you know? Oh, just my instincts or experiences, perhaps? No offense, but... When I look at you, I see a desperate tiger cub cornered by the hunters. The situation is not as simple as you think. Since she can invite us to more punk, she can play the same trick and invite you to her realm. This could be a trap. A trap to keep you stuck inside the realm. You are right. It is a risky move. With the other two idols as her anchors, she's the true dominator of the realm now. I can't foresee what's ahead of us in there, so I've been avoiding it. But... We don't have other choices, do we? <laughs> now we are talking. You seem ready. But, mm -mm. Whatever you decide to do next, don't. This is the advice from an experienced hunter. Why? Because whatever is in your mind now is going to send you into the hunter's trap. This happens to all kinds of animals. When the animal realizes it is cornered, its mind will be in a muddle. 
it can't think of anything else, but at the same time, it strangely grows overconfident. It will take the gamble of escaping from its last way out, which is also going to be the entrance of the trap. Trust me. I know how you feel. You thought there's no way out, but a footlog bridge. The Manus followers are still wandering about, and some villagers haven't been moved to safer locations. But sometimes, we must take the risky path to get out of the dreadful situation, even though it is full of traps. It may not solve all the problems, but it's better than doing nothing. If this really is a trap, that means we will meet again. And I have been waiting for a chance to talk to her face to face for too long. I have been chasing after an imaginary goal since she left me. I watched that star closely taking down everything that I could observe. However, despite all the efforts, deep down I know better than anyone else, it's useless. I remember those days, almost half of which were like living in a mist. But now... But now... I can feel it. Her silhouette is right there in front of me. To be honest, this is not the best time to seize this chance. Miss Calabona. But no matter how I look at it, this is too good an opportunity to pass up. Okay, fine. If you insist on doing this, I will not stop you. We all have our lessons to learn, and you are right. We don't have any better options. What is it they say? No risk, no feast, huh? <laughs> but please keep this in mind. No matter what happens, your safety will always be the top priority. We cannot bear to lose someone who is capable of putting this to an end. I will. Are you sure to use this? What's wrong with it? It has enough water to soak me in. Hmm. You are much more practical than I thought. Oh, um, before I go. Aren't you going to take it with you, Miss Calabona? No. Charmaine has a point. This is our last chance to win this fight, and it should be kept away from Kumar as far as possible. Um... Miss Calabona? Take this with you, then.
This is your... My pendulum! It's one of my collections, one of the purest. Even I don't have a lot of them around. I realized that the theory of meditation you've talked about is quite similar to some of the crystal divination theories. So perhaps this will help you in the water if the crystal can stabilize the magnetic field and guide you in there. You... <laughs> no need to be surprised. This is how quickly a genius can think. Thank you. Ah, great. So it's only me who can't understand this meditation in water thing? Well, it takes all sorts of rocks to form a mountain. Okay, the pendulum and enough liquid. And all I have to do now is think of Gamar. Could it be more suitable than the place we first met? <laughs> How thoughtful you were, Komar, to recreate the observatory in the realm. Just an illusion in my mind. She remembered almost every detail of me as a child. to deal with those brats of that age. Leave! Hmm. This feels weird. Did Komar put you here? To guard this fragment of memory? This shall be the obstacle in my way. To where I want to be. It's time to face the illusion from the past. Finally, some interesting work. What are you doing here? Go on. I was very small in the past few years. लेकिन मौका मारने में मुझे कभी भी कोई झिझक नहीं हुई ना 
लेकिन क्यों आप क्यों बहुत ठीक है संवाद करने की यह अच्छा इस उम्र में भी मैं बेहतर नहीं हूं फिर इसे कठिन तरीके से करना होगा something oh oh retreat oh. what i can't make the call hey i'm the support staff for tomorrow hmm you grown taller and you have stronger hands like i've dreamt of So have you two found the graveyard of stars? तो आपका क्या मतलब है? क्या आपका मतलब है कुमार? We should listen to what people say. We should listen to what people say. Hear something. Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. तुम फिर से शांत हो गए. ध्यान किसी के दिल और आत्मा के बीच बातचीत है. लेकिन मैंने कभी सोचा नहीं था कि ये इतनी जल्दबाजी में किया जाएगा. अगला कौन है? That is still be me, which is also you. We are sixteen, and the bad kids sitting behind us cut our hair. Hmm. Leave now, Bala Bona. Huh? Red thirty-eight is about to return. <laughs> From the past to the present and the future the thing we want to link to Facing and chasing. Think what it is. You are still asking questions that cannot be answered, just as you always did. What do you think I should chase after? इस बार मैं धोखा नहीं खाऊंगी कुमार उस दिन के बाद से मैंने खगोल विज्ञान का अध्ययन कभी नहीं छोड़ा कीप मूविंग year old me was fierce that pain feels real you came here sooner than i expected kalapuna i knew 
you would come. Kumar. Finally, see you again. I miss you dearly too, my child. I hope you've been doing well while I was away. Hope you're happy with the surroundings I set. I always find it enjoyable here. A place full of memories. <laughs> and perfect for small talks. <laughs> I'd rather you suffered, miss. Ah, someone is having a worse attitude these days. There's no need to look around, kid. I already had a few years of experience in the field before you started your research. And one of the most basic skills one has to master in the meditator's realm is to cover up the traces of reality. Even so, you didn't even think about creating a starry sky for yourself here. That would be unnecessary. You can see it any time outside this realm, if you like. Why did you invite me here? I know you've put in a lot of efforts. I understand the difficulty within, and sympathize with you, Kalabuna. I always do. Just like what I did with my younger brother. By the way, that letter has been delivered to him safely, I assume? You're smart enough not to bring the Vishnu statue with you. Did somebody kindly remind you not to do that? Never mind, that's not helpful. I don't understand. Why involve him? Hmm. Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. After all, they precluded me from doing anything even before I give it a try. Although my misfortune was not my brother's doing, there's no one else left in the family to take my anger. So ask me now. Ask me anything you wish to know. I can tell you everything. What you're curious about, what you're confused about, anything you can't work out in your little brain, I can explain it all. Hasn't the idea that I might locate you bothered you for even a second? Locate me? <laughs> you are still as naive as a child, my Kalabauna. You little dummy Ulu. That is simply impossible. This is the first time you doubt my capability. No, why would I do that? Of all the students, you are the only child who is smart enough to follow my steps this far. You just don't have time on your side and need a better mindset in dealing with the unexpected. I've tried to teach it to you. Remember those impromptu speeches I asked you to give? Those were good practice. Don't have... What do you mean? Perhaps you have put too much stock in the idea that I will rely on Manus Vindicte in this. Instead, I trust myself more than them. And of course, I also trust you. What's more, they were never good enough for me. But luckily, I have never been a real arcanist or a real human only pretending to be either of them when necessary. I can easily act like an arcanist to gain their trust, just like I could act like a human when I was teaching at Venna.
What are you staring at? Take it if you're interested. What? You thought it is the key to cracking the meditator's realm, like the stone statues earlier? Though it is too late for hints, there is one thing I have to remind you of. You didn't catch up to the real me, nor did you improve the situation by entering the realm. You chased me all the way here. Chased the hope of winning against me. But you only helped me complete my plan. The moment you entered the realm, the last step of my plan was done. <laughs> I completed... what? As you know, exerting influence on reality through the meditator's realm is challenging. After all, this realm is like the shadow of its real counterpart, a reflection of reality. I went to a lot of trouble, even wasted a statue, to finally stick out a corner of the shadow over the boundary of the two worlds. You mean the statue in the cave? Yes. What I needed was an outside in force to break the realm, which is almost unbreakable from the inside. A mirror can reflect objects, but there's nothing it could do to itself. It can only be shattered into pieces by people not from the reflection, but reality. Whenever there is a shooting star streaking across the sky of this realm, an equally beautiful star will fall on the real Earth. And guess what? You are the force I'm looking for. No. How? So the fluctuation I detected, the energy of the celestial body felt by the Foundation Girl, are just false alert? Oh no. I have to admit, that young girl was not part of my plan. But, at least you are on the right track about what happened. If anything is to blame, it's your ego. You were trying to win, but not by saving people. The idea of proving yourself to me outweighed their lives. You must be wondering. How could she lay such a trap with her insignificant arcane power? She can barely lift a lump of clay. She must have had the malice and dictate on her side to help. All that being said, you don't have to feel yourself to be a lesser version of me. You're still my best student, my best colleague, and my strongest rival. Well, with some room to improve. Even this time, you didn't lose the game for lack of wits, but for the fact that I know you a bit better than you know me. And I simply have more experience hunting a prey. You and the Manis have never, never thought that. means if I didn't enter the realm to see you then things are going to be tricky for me you would be enjoying a happy deepa festival while I would be crying in a dark corner nobody knows of why why would you well time's up Remember to ask the most important question first next time, chap. Don't thank me for that suggestion, and don't think too much of my kindness.
I didn't explain all these things for your sake. I told you everything because only by doing so can I enjoy the victory to its fullest. Your desperation is a good prize for me. You know I have a bad taste for entertainment. Go back to the deeper festival. At least there's one good thing left for you. You will get to see that beautiful shooting star with your own eyes, just like I will. Alfida. My ankle hurts no more. Hmm. She's been in there for mm, four minutes. 26 seconds. Is this a reasonable length of time? Uh, I remember I once learned about the ideal time length for meditation in one of the elective classes. Um, what's more, she's holding her breath underwater. When there is only one way to the destination, you have no choice but to take it. You have to force yourself to take that painful step and then blame yourself for being such a desperate fool to move and lose balance. The silver lining is, it's just a stagger on the solid ground. And you will eventually regain your footing. Leave here <coughs> now and get everyone. Did did you see Kuma? What happened? I'm the one to blame. Damn it. I'm such a fool. I should have known that I'm not a match for Kumar. Keep telling myself I did all these things to save the people, to save the village. 
turns out it was me fighting against a dummy she set up. I messed up everything for everyone. Sensible, I just left this path. The stupid dumb trap. Nothing would have turned out this way. Oh, is that how you see it? I assume you think it is this way because you have failed in the mission and thus feel depressed and indulge yourself in some negative thinking. Which is totally understandable. Blaming it all on yourself, telling yourself you will be the only one to suffer the consequence so as to alleviate the guilt. Or, you didn't understand what I said to you earlier at all. What? You have to stop at Kalabona. Remember what I said? You don't have to feel bad for trusting people. And here's another piece. Don't blame yourself for being brave. What did she tell you? You were a fool and you ruined everything? Come on. Both of us know this is not the case. Brave or reckless? Prudent or cowardly? Comments like these could be predictions but most of the time are hindsight. The good news is, we still have time to change that. You know what kind of bears the hunters fear the most? The ones which were once trapped, but eventually got away. Nobody can remain a predator forever. We don't know what will happen in the next encounter. What's more, life is a long fight where we outsmart one opponent and get outsmarted by the other. That's the wisdom of nature. Bears eat salmon, wolves eat rabbit, but eventually, bears or wolves, their skin will become our blankets. A tiger might have strength, yet a rat also has its wits. You don't need to defeat her to validate your victory. You can win this war another way, a way to your advantage. When will the wrestling between a fisherman and a fish begin? When the fish bites the bait. So, if you still have some strength left in you to get back on your feet and think straight, that'd be most helpful. After all, I don't think we have the time for another round of meditation. with this. I was wrestling with my mom. <sighs> Kumar, she broke the boundary between the meditator's realm and reality through me. I'm afraid the falling star will arrive early. What? There's no other ways to stop her then? There might be a way to stop her, by locating her in person. But I didn't spot any clue in the realm. And now... We are in a dangerous situation. Almost as urgent as the time when Rama was facing the arrow knocked to a full bow. Instead of getting caught up in nostalgia, we should take action and protect what can be saved. Arrival time of the Foundation backup is 6 a.m. It will be too late if the meteor really falls early. We need a shelter that can withstand the impact. Also, we have to gather all the villagers. And... and... 
In the field training, the instructor also told us to... I'll go with you! I'll go with you! I know the way better! Besides, Shadja is not back yet. If anything happens to she, I will not forgive myself I say those words. Hmm. I'm staying. Huh? If I can calculate the range of damage of the comet, we may retreat to a safe location. Every rat has its day. And this rat is doing her best. <laughs> Don't put on a face like that. You are not some rat. I can tell. You are the tiger cub. In the meantime, let's not forget. The real rat is still out there looking smug. Watch out for the things I knock off. I didn't do it on purpose. Look at my back. Something. No worries. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Don't be so furious. Hey, don't resist. Right wind. Yeah. Oh, haven't what? you eaten? I can't make the call. Whose heart is beating so loud? Fine. Relax. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Oh uh oh. I smell the scent of mint oil. Shh. I hear something. Crash on. Whose heart is beating so loud? Talking out comes people down. Right wind. Hmm. Hey, I'm the support staff. Fine. No worries. Relax. A little trick. Three. ВДВ. Сколько побед? We should listen to what people say. ВДВ. Сколько побед? In a peaceful moments. We should listen to what people say. Swallow my exhaust! Red 38 is about to return.
We are safe as long as they can't find us. Miss Georgia, I'm scared. Relax, Gina. Remember what Pati and Dada said? Just wait here and they will be back soon. Your brother is also helping them out. <laughs> but those monsters are terrifying. Even, even Mata. Um. Martha just passed out. Don't worry. She will... ਕਿਤਨੇ <laughs> Oh boy, that was close. Uh, Miss Sherja, I admire you for your courage, but this is getting a bit too nerve-wracking. Miss Sherja! Kanjira? Wait! How did you find this place? Sorry, Miss Shacha. I should not be mad at you. That scares me so. S sorry. I couldn't control myself and my body just... Huh? Look over there! You had... तुम 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 तो कर्मा जी के बेटे हो अरे आप तो तिकाल चाचा है ना कितने अरसे हो गए आपसे मिले हुए तुम तुम कैसे तिकाल चाचा बहुत बातें होंगी पर इस वक्त नहीं इस जगह एक ऊट का पिंड गिरगा इसके प्रभाव से एक विशाल गड्ढा बन जाएगा और तो और वो ऊट का पिंड यहाँ पर फाउंडेशन के कोई सहायता पहुंचने से पहले आ गिरगा पर आप लोग सबसे ज्यादा खुश किस्मत है क्योंकि हम सबसे पहले आप लोगों को ढूंढ पाई हैं। चलिए टिकाओ चाचा मेरे घर पर चल के बतक करते हैं 
आपको हमारे घर का रास्ता याद है ना क्या कोई चला हुआ पुराना घर सवाल ही नहीं उठता कभी नहीं फिर तो आपको मुझे माफ करना पड़ेगा चाचा आप हमारे साथ ही जाएंगे भले मुझे आपको बंद कर कींच के ले जाना पड़े Right. I'm glad to see that you're fine, Miss Sherja. We are in dire need of a helping hand. Miss Sherja, I remember you know this place well. Yes, I do. We need to transfer everyone here, humans and arcanists, to a safe place. And you're the best person to do that. I All right. I'll do whatever I can as long as it helps. Wish my father could see this. <laughs> Isn't she a lot more reliable than I am? Told the old man a million times that humans make more decent work partners than our kids. Please briefly tell us what the neighborhood is like. We need to pick up everyone in the town as soon as possible. We need to find the quickest way to do it and avoid all the enemies on the way. Hey, relax. We can't run away from them. We will just run over them. Palahas live near the village entrance. The fastest way there. Oh, and Auntie Sitar, she lives at. Uh... Look, there are some road signs ahead. Which uh, which way should we go, Miss Sherja? Hey, people! That rumbling noise sounds like giant rocks rolling downhill. Those guys are catching up. Aha! Don't worry, just speed up with Kachira. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? No worries. Relax. Right wind. Come back to me. This is the fastest route. The last house is right there. But This is living my wildest childhood dream. <laughs> Hold tight people. We are going to sway. Oh. These things are black and noisy. Can I just run over them? What? Of course not. A car will not cause any damage to these arcane monsters. Seems like we have to fight. I hope this is the last trouble we have to deal with. We are running out of time. We need some peaceful moments. Whatever. Сколько побед? We should listen to what people say. Swallow my exhaust! Secrets always 
hide in careless words. Listen carefully. One, two, three. Okay, all are here. We got everyone. Hmm, the gas pedal is more heavy. Oh, Uncle Tika, you are very pure, huh? मैं यहाँ से केवल आपके पगड़ी देख सकता हूँ मुझे डर है कि आपको अभी इसे सहाना होगा आके कार आप बहुत बार पहले बाकी थे ये जल्द ही खत्म हो ही जाएगा क्योंकि हमारे पास एक उत्कृष्ट युवक ड्राइवर है यात्रा खत्म हो सकती है लेकिन इसमें अधिक समय नहीं लगेगा How is everything now? Well, it's going smooth. The young people and tourists left as soon as I persuaded them. Only the old and the children are left here. It's not that easy for them to move, and hey, you promised to give me half of it. Now what? The boss cannot keep her own promise. Hmm. I do most messenger work. More food for more work. These kids were abandoned and driven away by humans. I'm glad to see Kanjra get along with them. If she could enjoy life like this. No. Nothing. You just reminded me of my mother, Sherja. Perhaps people like you are the key to saving all of us. I just observed it again. The figures are showing a grim picture. Luckily, I've worked out the specific range of damage. As long as we can get out of this radius, there will be no casualties. As for other losses, they are beyond my ability to cover. Hmm. The airship of the foundation is on the way. At least our water supply is secured for now. But the problem is, at such a distance. The distance. Even if we follow the straight line, it is impossible for us, for the elders and the children, to get out of it within hours. could go underground underground wait i remember my old man told me about uh, an emergency tunnel leading to the forest on the mountain its entrance is right here beneath the floor of this very room a tunnel he told me this hoping that one day i will take over his responsibility to look after the village if i remember it correctly that forest which is also the exit of this tunnel is right outside the impact area that's great in the tunnel even if we don't make it to the forest in time we can still avoid the damage uh, but The problem is there's a gate to the tunnel. Now, just for the record, I'm only quoting my old man. 
It is a gate which only opens to the leader who has earned his people's trust. Uh. Oh, open sesame! V is going real treasure hunting this time. Oh, well, my father's version was hardly as exciting as Open Sesame. I didn't believe him even as a child. I tried to open it by force many times. Well, it never worked. My old man was telling the truth. Things would be problematic for us. Because I don't think I can get that gate open. Firstly, I've never wanted to be a leader. And speaking of the people's trust... How do you think those cursing old men in the yard will feel about me? Hmm. Even so. Hmm. We will open that gate. Hmm? Even if we have to smash it with our bare fists. I'm not sure if you are being sarcastic. It's the best way in the current situation. Watch your steps. Fisherman told us is truly useless. <laughs> what did I say? This is never the gate for me to open. Medanta take tu ham sab ko leke tu beka. Sir matum yonde. Tu apne parivar ki raksha nahi kar sakta. To dusron ki raksha kaise karega? हे भगवान हमारी प्रार्थना सुन के हमारे लिए कोई मार्गदर्शक भेज दे इतने सालों इंसानों के भरोसे रख के हमने का Why don't you do this earlier? We need to focus. 
focus on the most important thing. It's Open Sesame Story. In the story, only the most smart and wise people can open it. Why do you hesitate now? <laughs> Little one, you think I'm the smartest and wisest person? Uh, no. Oh. But why ask me? It is your gift. My answer don't matter. Their answer don't matter too. That's why I said you should shut them up. There will be a gate for me and I will open it my way. I'm the one to decide how to open my gate. My spell will be longer and cooler than some open sesame. I'm not jealous, you. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like Dad was right. I'm not qualified to be a leader. Thanks, kid. <sighs> anyway, times have changed. Forget the spell. <laughs> Screw it. I have no idea what my father once promised you. In fact, I have no interest in what your old heads think. Hmm. Lekin darwaze ko kholne ke mera tarika kya hai? Standing right here, right now, is me, not another Sharma. That is to say... Much more fragile than I thought. takes the other arm of mine. Uh -uh. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. So cool! I guess you didn't see that coming. To tell the truth, I had prepared myself to bounce off from that closed gate, like what had happened many times when I was a kid. See how I burst it open? That was cool! Ho ho! Ha! Ha! <sighs> so in the end, my dad was just telling nonsense to a kid. Those so-called profound teachings, like one needs adequate strength or a sense of responsibility. 
Those were too abstract for a kid to understand. <laughs> That's indeed his style. But in the end, the door was opened. That's for sure. That's a good ending for a story. At least a million times better than mine. <laughs> you have a long way to go before reaching the end. But I'd say you're in a much better place now than you were in the beginning. It's good progress, trust me. He who only stays behind a closed door will turn away many things, including a chance to survive. All right, all right. Best roast rabbit ever. Miss Sharja, you have the first bite. A person with no family, yet radiates the warmth of family to others. If only Kumar had the slightest warmth from someone. Maybe such an absurd thing would have never happened. <laughs> I doubt she's upset about what happened. Maybe she has found herself a good seat to enjoy this dance of Shiva. That's true. She's the kind of person who always finds herself the best seat to watch the show. But I'm curious. Tell me, did she um, say anything bad about me? That was not a part of a conversation. She just admitted that she was being vindictive. Maybe I was being vindictive out of hatred, like you said. Like you said, the realm can never extract every word I've said. It's theoretically impossible. How? Where? Where did she hear that part? She was in the same room? How could it be? I know that room well. We have searched every inch of it. Unless she was hanging on the ceiling right above us. But, as I said, she always finds herself the best seat. To be someone who can smile knowingly at the arguments made by the lecturer. Knowing full well the thinking process behind. While staying close to other whispering opinions. Like a perfect observatory from which we witness the events in the universe. I've been in the wrong direction. She didn't make the star fall as revenge on the village. This guy in the realm when we met. Mr. Shemaine, she was not on the ceiling. Are you taking me seriously? That was just a joke to lighten up the mood. But 
under the ground. Remember the underground survival guide where we found this photo? She's right under that house. First to the corner. This is crazy. It has gone beyond my imagination. Sorry, but you don't have to come with me. <sighs> Say no more on that. If you don't let me see my own sister, I will be dying for answers. Who would dig a basement here? That reminds me. Her curiosity is one of the... Well, the major reason she did that. It's possible that she was well prepared last time she came back to Morpum. I never thought she foresaw that we would be kicked out from the project. And as you just deduced, she did so to see that star? Almost 100% sure. Without me... She must have asked the miners to support her with arcane skills. This way. She was extremely mentally unstable when she left me. It wouldn't take any effort if the miners had the intention to recruit her. Watching the meteor shower and being destroyed by it has been her plan all along. At this point, it is hard to say who's worse, she or we, since we have prepared to die with her evil plan. However reluctant I am to admit this, sometimes Arcanists are indeed strange creatures. <laughs> it's like a madhouse party. <laughs> but, uh, what did you teach Matilda before we left? That's our only chance to survive in her realm. I came up with it when I was calculating the range of the fallen star damage. Hmm. As I said, you are the Tiger Cup, trying to take a bite in the arm, even when the hunter has had you in her grip. That method was between Kumar and me. There is another theory according to my calculation. If there are more observers, the realm might collapse. It's the only theory Kumar does know. At the same time, it is not yet strictly verified. But I have faith in that girl. She's indeed a genius. I hope it's not too late to make our last attempt. Hmm. If you ask me, it's not yet the time to make that attempt. What? Ha <laughs> ha! This must be the appetizer she served us! <sighs> Great Shiva! I hope your fists feel as light and crispy as Bonnie Puri when they land on my body. I'm not afraid of you. You are just a pile of cards.
Plan B. Plan A. Conventional choice. A mice pack. Exactly. <sighs> That's tough. Hey, look over there. Is empty down there. The shower is estimated to fall at 4 a.m. today. By then, the comet will also... Three and a half hours to go. Oh, almost forgot about this. Music. Fine. It's not too high for me. Come on. What, what happened to you? Oh, well. I didn't expect so many visitors. But since you're here, please, take a seat. I built this place by myself. It's not a big room, and not soundproof. Yes. I heard you very clearly under the ground when you searched the room and went through my stuff. What's wrong about an astronomer reading, calf feeding, and management? Y 
You, you should have left. My plan has ch changed. But... Let it be. Let it be. What do they call this? Destiny? You know about destiny, right, Caliborna? Watching the stars with me. Good. Good. It's like living the old days again. Kumar, sister. <laughs> sister. Sister. You look much better in the realm. What did the manis do to you? The manis? Oh, they're fine. Helps me a lot. Impressive arcane skills. Experiment apparatus and... Food. Lots of food. These oh. Seems like she's no longer capable of commanding those wandering madness. But the priority is to stop that star. We can deal with the rest. The star? You're going to stop the comet. You are taking it from me. Again? Kumar? Ah! I will never... mind to judge. <sighs> what did you say? A tooth for a tooth. Promise. Don't forget to come with me. Feel it pain and know it's regret. Conventional choice. Mommy! A 
One tooth for a tooth. This way? An eye for an eye. More than the stars. Bigger than the mushrooms. <laughs> A two for wow. two. Um, what did you say? An eye for an eye. Pay for thy sins with thy blood. Everyone will love the blue bubble garden. The law is above all else. This way? I'm hungry. Off thou go. Promise? Don't forget to come visit me. Snack time! Thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins. In full. Using troops. throw up. <coughs> it feels strange in here. <coughs> Was that Master's face? <sighs> I, I can keep up It's hard to get used to it for the first time I feel a lot better in here I'm sorry Calabona I don't think this body of mine can hold any longer for more appropriate meeting in the real world. I'm glad you came back for me. What I said was indeed too harsh. Kumar, why do you have to? Look at you. The price is too high. Hmm. In the first instance, I did have other intentions. I kept imagining how my so-called parents would react when they were about to get crushed to pieces by the star. Little did I know, they have already paid for what they've done. I worked myself to the bone, but who knew I would lose everything, including my purpose? It really sucks. But it's okay, just a minor setback. Compared to what I've been through, it's not even worth mentioning. That's why I changed my mind. I want to see it. To see it. The star we can't see with our eyes. Seems like I was not very careful about my wording when my mind was clouded. It is a celestial body, Kalabona, not a star. It could even be a moving black hole.
I'd rather you did this out of the hatred towards the people who abandoned you. Or even towards me. For I carelessly exposed my identity as an arcanist. And thus, you lost you. I wish the same. I wish so badly that I could just be filled with pure hatred towards someone. But I can't, kid. You're the lucky one, young brother. I was going to kick your butt in our last encounter, but I just couldn't do it. But the man has made you. Kid, Banner University can get my name on the SCI list, but the madness allows me to touch the universe. They are not that different to me. Sister, mother told me about this. You physically can't take such a great amount of arcanum in you. The manis should also know this. I appreciate that they remembered this about me. But this is the path I chose. When I look into the sky, I feel myself the freest being in the world. The universe. What a vast, life-embracing place it is. No matter if you're a canist or a human, even a grain of sand, it encompassed everything. But I was driven away from studying it. Abandoned by my own family for some insignificant, unimportant reasons. <sighs> I should have understood this earlier. <sighs> that my struggle means nothing on this planet. I'm tired, Kalapuna. Just want to see that celestial body with my own eyes. Kumar? That's not how you look at a star. The telescope shouldn't be placed in a basement, and you shouldn't lower your head. Kumar, how long has it been since the last time you looked up at the night sky, at the other stars? What's more? If the star falls, people in the village, including those kids, none of them will survive. The madness you summoned here has brought disaster to this place, to the people and their families. They are not the sacrifices of your wish. Stop heading down the wrong path, Kumar. You know what? I don't care about them. Just like they've never cared about me, haven't they? Sorry. Please indulge me with one last will for act. This is the path I chose. And you can't stop me, Calabona. Hmm? What? It's Matilda. They made it. Quickly! You understand? Yes! That's what Miss Calabona taught me to do! Hmm. But I can't see anything when my eyes are closed.
don't rely on the eyes. Hold this crystal and take a deep breath. Do you feel, um, what she say? The change of the universe. <gasps> the meteor shower is starting earlier. What did you do? <coughs> That's the method only once known between you and me, Kumar. The observation method? You told others about the celestial egg? So what? Uh, I see. I see. You once pitched that research proposal to me. You are indeed my best student, Kalabona. I finally understand why you asked me to keep it a secret. Even if we named it Egg, it's actually a projection of the universe, which has the same feature. The universe is infinite. As long as we observe it self-consciously, think each of ourselves as one of the centers of the universe. The egg will then collapse because of multiple centers, until it puts a quietus in everything, including that star. A shattered mirror will never be pieced together again if there are enough forces to break it. Am I right? Then, there was neither existence nor non-existence. There was neither the realm of space nor the sky beyond. Who could master these skills? Those old foggies in the village? A genius girl and a bunch of kids who looked up at the stars. I'm sorry, Kumar. I have to. No, we have to stop you this time. I can't let you destroy more punk. Or destroy yourself. Five giant spheres. Are they? That's Ketu and Rahul. Come on! You. Even the infortune may reverse what's irreversible. 
Either do it quickly, or hold her off. The realm will collapse once our observation starts. And I believe in Matilda. Don't rush in. She seems to be waiting as well. She's accumulating power. Hmm. The marks on her. My child, as the nebula collapses, no watching eyes will survive the destruction. But you should remember, it's not eyes that our observation relies on. others our method to see that star. You have really ruined everything this time. No worries. Plan A. Plan B. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Even for a great And take advantage of you? You and I, we are very alike. Plan A. Plan B. No worries. Three, two, one, down. 
Why are you treating me this way? Are you hungry? The show's on, hounds. Snack time! I'm with you, no one. Even for a great Wouldn't have to waste time on this, right? I'm hungry. We need some peaceful moments. The show's on, hounds. Snack time. No one, 
even for a great. If I can push it a little further, I have lost everything. I I don't understand. Is everyone seated? Ahem. The court is now in session. The verdict is guilty. It's about to collapse! Got to go now! Kumar! Kumar! Mr. Germain, you covered me. I'm fine. Pretty. Her realm has gone, taking that falling star with it. Tonight, only the meteor shower will sparkle in the sky. Kumar! Kumar! I'm still here, Kumar. How about we go back first? Go back? Yes, go back to the institution, to the university. There's no place I can go back to. Yes, there is. You can stay at my place. You can use my lab. We can start over. Sure. Really? You will? Let's go then. Leave this place first. There are some papers I need to take with me. Let go of my arm. <sighs> okay.
Mr. Sharma. Kumar says she'll come with us. She just needs to take some papers. It won't take long. Then there was neither death nor immortality. There was neither day nor night. Everyone has a place to go back to. What a nice world to live in. I hope when the universe constructs me for a second time, I will not come to this world again. So this is what Chandigarh look like. It's Slay! What's this? Candy? This way! Come over here! Ah! So you're only in the system? No wonder they made you go through so many procedures earlier. <laughs> what? So you was just rookie? <laughs> Shut up! I won't allow another word of it! <sighs> Better be careful, otherwise you will regret your doings when you get to the foundation! <laughs> Miss Sherja and Mr. Sharma, thank you so much for helping our staff. Um, you flatter me. I just did what I could. No, ma'am. We've ascertained your achievement. Before this incident, you volunteered to help over 10 arcanists and human children. And this time, you rescued more than 30 arcanists. That's remarkable, madam. What's this? A letter of introduction to the St. Pavlov Foundation. I'm sure you know our branch in Chandigarh is already under construction. Such a responsible and caring human member like you will be very welcome. Please do consider this opportunity. According to the record, there's one more arcanist who also provided help for us in this mission. So, where is Miss Collarbone? Oh, she's... That's weird. Oh. I think it's not a good time for her. They will be back after the meteor shower.
My stomach full every day when I go to school. It's my twin detective, no so his good boy in a four. All right, people, don't be greedy. One wish only. Oh.